What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 Welcome back to a video and I have finally purchased and received a mystery box from Evike. I took a fat L two mystery boxes ago with bad connection and then last time my credit card messed up slashed, I don't really know what happened, the address and the billing address and the shipping address. But we finally got one, and if it's an Alec Mack one on one unboxing video, I'm not just unboxing a single mystery box. So I have an AEG to do, I think it's a Polar Star, and then also a Tokyo Marie High Cap of 5.1. So we're gonna do the mystery box at the end. Um, I still got some stuff from last week's sale video if you guys wanna slide in that. A lot of you bought stuff, which is awesome, but I still have like at least half the stuff left. So if you guys still wanna buy stuff, you can go there. That video got like 5,000 views, which is pretty sweet. So let's get it. I also have in comments that I've been aggressively smacking my packages. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know when that started, but it definitely had a thing. Um, and so it is what it is. This, I believe, is a Polar Star that I got from eBay. Um, I bought this, I've been watching some stuff on eBay. I love getting Polar Stars, you guys know this. And so I gotta get into it. Alrighty, here we are, baby. And I was right. I actually bought this like a week or two ago. This is a VFC slash Trident slash kind of custom CQB Polar Star. Dude, I really like this thing. So up front, it's got an Ace Tech Lighter S in it, I believe. Yeah, or this is the Lighter... Yeah, Lighter S. Oh, this is the Lighter. So the Lighter S is the little bit smaller version, but this is Ace Tech Lighter. Um, the rail is missing some screws on this side. It does have a jack inside of it. It's got a jack engine. I love these VFC QRS lowers. I just think the grips feel awesome. Their selector switches are awesome. I really like this thumb rest on the magwell as well. I think it's cool. It's got the stock hop-up system. This is the VFC QRS stock as well. And then it's got the FCU and the battery in here. These stocks are sweet with how quick you can access everything. You got the FCU, like I said, the battery in there. But I think it's just a really nice setup, honestly. I really like these guns. I did not know that uh, VFC and KD, or, uh, Crytac stuff was compatible, but I guess the uppers and lowers are compatible. I did not know they were VFC spec, but I guess they are. I mean, it kind of makes sense since Crytac went and started and VFCs are considered one of the best bodies in the market. Um, makes sense. All right, up next in the package is actually a Dai i4 with a GoPro Hero Session. So this was a speed, I got this from a Speedsoft kid and he basically was getting rid of his entire collection. I'm gonna take this out real quick. Yeah, so he was basically selling his collection, just kind of getting out of the sport and it's got a Hero Session on here. I think he probably recorded um, on like the horizontal mode. And then this blends actually looks really cool. I like this gold a lot. It's kind of sleek. It's kind of definitely good for Milsim a little bit with his little profile. And then up next, we have some mags. These are, look like the KWA PTS mags. I think these might be the Speed QB mags. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% sure, but I know Speed QB makes the ones that kind of look like P mags. And I've heard really good things about these mags if they are the Speed QB mags, but I can't remember exactly what he said. It looks like a Magpul P mag. The internals look pretty good. And I like the Christmas colors that he went for. Finally, with this package, we have the air rig. I believe this is one of the micro air rigs. Um, yeah, this is a Wolverine. I don't actually know what they call this. It's like the micro rig or something. Um, nice amped line. I really like this braided line. This one might be the premium plus line. I have one of those. I think it like has an extra braiding weave on the other, but I really like that colorway. And then a Ninja, I think this is a 68 4500. Yeah, a 68 4500 light. And the Hydro's good for, wow, good for, this was, bought at the beginning of this year so this tank is really new huh all right up next we are going to continue with the speed qb trend i ordered this last week and i wasn't sure exactly what this box was when it got here it was a little damaged so i opened it but i have not looked at any of the stuff in it as you can tell it is still wrapped um, i believe this is a tap drum yeah this is like the the giant version of the tap drum i've owned a smaller one but i've never owned this massive one and this thing is crazy big. I'm actually not sure the mag capacity on this, but it's pretty huge. And for the pistol itself, this is a 4.3 upgraded high kappa. You guys know that I love Tokyo Marine high kappas. They just make an absolutely awesome base build. Up top here, it has an STI upper, as well as an STI lower. These things are very, very, very nice. It is a little bit gummy with lube. I'm guessing he lubed it up. It does feel like it's pretty clean. Um, it's pretty easy to tell with some of these high kappas if people take good care of them or if they kind of just beat them into the ground. But it looks like this thing's in pretty good shape. It doesn't look like there's any aftermarket parts on the inside. I believe this is an upgraded outer barrel. I think this is a 45 ACP. I believe this is the one that came with it, but that must mean that he has the stock 
yeah, so he's got the stock plastic barrel in it. I'm not sure if it could handle the recoil maybe. Maybe he was running green gas, not 100% sure. When you're upgrading high kappas, man, they can be really, really, really complex and it's kind of hard to deal with. I believe this started lower wise as a extreme high kappa. So he said he modified it instead of shooting full auto, it does shoot semi now. I'm not exactly sure what he did to change that, but it does look like a extreme 45 lower and those are made in the 4.3s if you guys did not know they're really fun they just have some of the fastest fire rates if not the fastest fire rate of pistols in the market and he included a magwell here as well looks like he used some sort of loctite on it and i don't know if it just came off or it didn't seat with the magazines well i do know with upgraded magwells and grips that the tap adapters do not feed as well with upgraded parts. I've been hearing really good things about the primary arms adapters, but I've heard a lot of things about these tap mags don't actually work well, but dude, that right there looks sweet. I've actually ever never owned a drum on a pistol before. I've had lots for M4s and AEGs, but imagine seeing that as you walk around a corner at an indoor field, just absolutely ready to get unloaded on. All right, last box to go before we get to the mystery box from Evike. I end up buying another guy message me. Sometimes you guys will message me and it's, I really appreciate it because you guys will be like, hey, Alec, I want to do something for the boxing. I want to try to get something new. Are you interested in my collection or stuff? I absolutely am interested in buying collections. You guys have, if you're gonna, if I'm gonna give you, like buy your whole stuff at once, um, you guys do have to understand that I can't give you as much money as retail. Some of the people are like, oh, hey, I paid this for retail. You pay me $20 less than that and I'm like, if that's what you paid retail and you've used it a little bit, it is just not worth that. So it is better for me when I buy bigger collections. However, some people will message me like this guy did and he will send me guns for cheaper. So this is the first out of two guns that he sent. This is an upgraded, um, I believe this is a Sima M4. And so he designed this to kind of be, I think his brother built it before he moved overseas. This is designed to be a sleeper gun. So this is an Echo One. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what version this was the echo one might be OEM by Sima not 100% sure It's got the skull frog lower there, which is kind of cool. I actually really like the trades on this as well uh, It's got the light poly ready pre-upgraded gearbox 30-day limited warranty And I believe internally this has been set up to be a pretty nice SSG I'm not 100% sure what the internals are on this are I think I actually have a parts list. Let me check All right. Yes, so we do have the parts list for this It's a Lonex shell SHS compression internals 13 to 1 SHS gears, a gate Titan Advance, and an ASG 18,000 Infinity Boost motor, and then an Angel Custom Type Board barrel. So externally, this gun does not look like it's packing hardly anything, but internally, it is awesome. And the next gun that he's sending me, he sent him in two different parts, and he said the second one I think is going to get here tomorrow, so I will throw that probably in next week's video. But this one is a sleeper, and the other one is much, much heavier upgraded so i think you guys will be excited about that as well but let's get in the mystery box guys it feels like it has been absolutely forever since i did an e-bike mystery box i don't know about you guys but i think it's been like at least six months since i opened one of these maybe since it's been a while i'll get something extra special who knows uh if you guys have been a fan of my channel for a while or watch me for a while you know i get pretty mediocre stuff which makes sense that kind of would be like the statistic i do get some cool stuff here and there but let's hope this is one of those sweeter things. All right, first up, we have a Springfield Armory uh, Defend Your Legacy XDM. I've actually never, I think I, I think WE makes these. Air Venturi is what it looks like it's OEM by in Cleveland, Ohio. Ooh, yo, that's actually really sweet. So this box was a $200 mystery box, and I really like that so far. It's got the different backs as well. Some of these guns come crazy lube from the factory. You can see the shine on it, probably the glisten from the side. But some of these come crazy lube, which I guess is good for longevity in the guns, but it makes it a little bit slippery when you're playing with it. Got a sticker here as well, XDM. I have actually never shot one of these in real life, but I really have wanted to. This is a 4.5, so I think this is the more compact version kind of feels like the grip feels like it's full frame but maybe the slide just a tad shorter i'm not 100 percent sure like i said i don't know the springfield guns that well i've never shot one i have some buddies that have them and i've heard really good things about them i heard they're a great gun um it does have fiber optic orange front sights and white rear dot sights I actually really like that it's a striker fire pistol um it's got a nice grip on the magazine as well like i really like this pistol grip on there the magazine looks cool with that stainless look um pretty nice gun man i really like that so good start to the mystery box and up next we have an fn herstel box Alrighty, before we get into the gun there is a face mask included and this big giant howitzer shell this is 0.2 gram bbs by barrett hmm. that's kind of cool so it's like a shell on the top and then normal like emg bbs i would assume 
Remember to stay Rona season safe. Alrighty, so we got a FN Herstal box. Cybergun OEM. Maybe a scar? Anybody? Take a comment real quick below before you watch the rest of this. Comment what you think this gun is going to be. I'm going to guess scar. Oh, I was pleasantly wrong and surprised. This is a P90. For those of you that do not know, FN Herstal makes the scar, the P90, the FN57. And this thing is pretty dope. That's like a... That's kind of cool. I had a Polar Star version a long time ago. I think this is like the Terminator or Predator front end is whatever it's called. But I actually really like it. Um, Real Gun shoots a really cool round. Uh, it's subson or it's like super fast, so it pushes through body armor, which is pretty cool. It is a beautiful, beautiful gun in real life. I cannot wait to be able to shoot one of these eventually. Same with FN57. I actually almost bought a real one on Palmetto like a few months ago because I was like this gun is so pretty absolutely love it It was like 1100 or something for the real pistol and these these real ones in real life are crazy expensive it does come with the basic wall charger and the basic battery so that would kind of make me assume that it's a cheaper gun I don't know exactly how much price wise it is but it does feel kind of like a mid-level AEG um, these magazines are pretty cool I think the real one holds like 50 rounds if I'm not mistaken it's 5 by 7 by 28 um, it's a pretty sweet gun. Uh, yeah, it does say 50 on there. It's always kind of interesting to see, like, I can't imagine reloads how, and the magazine pouches, they gotta be huge on these. I think I ended up having some P90 mag pouches in the Polar Star that I have. It was a bingo custom one, and it was super, super cool, but pretty pleasantly surprised with this mystery box. I really like this up here. I think that adds a ton to it. I think it makes it look a lot cooler with this. Uh, it's kind of annoying that the orange tip is that big, but I'll either take it off um, if I can. It looks like I can kind of remove that there, or, maybe spray paint over it, but this is a nice gun. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111 If you're new, welcome. I appreciate you guys. If you stayed all the way to the end, you guys are the best, and I will see you on next week's video.